Broadcasting USA, America's favorite cable network. They often say she's an ageless wonder. Her lustful life makes this lady tick. When a young man looks at Madam, she just throws herself right at him. She's young at heart and still getting her kick. And that Madam plays, she's a prime time queen. your niece. She just finished with the interview and now she's on her way to church to pray she gets the job. Job? What job? She didn't say. Well, maybe a receptionist position at the home for the unusually pure. <laughs> Take a let up, Bernie. All right. <clears throat> Sylvester Stallone, Easy Street, Hollywood, Calafusa. <laughs> Dear Sly, would love to get you on my show. Would love to get you, period. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a realist. <laughs> congrats on your new blockbuster movie. Keep it up, kid. And if you do keep it up, congrats on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Love to yours, madam. Mm -hmm. P.S. Someday I'd love to go a couple of rounds with you, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Mail that right away, Tut. Oh. I hear Rocky's a slow reader. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> madam, madam, what's the matter? His air holes was tickling me. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, oh, my goodness, madam, you are a cautious. Oh, relax, Bernie. This is a shortcut he takes every night to get the paper. Who's that masked man? <laughs> I wish I knew. I never had a chance to thank him. Oh, oh. Uh, Bernie, bring me my rubber ducky. I'm lonesome in my coffee now. <laughs> Gosh, those kids won't let me have anything nice. Yes! Can you take a bath? Come on in. Oh. Gee, Aunt Madam, Mama never lets me see you in the tub. Oh, I forget about how modest she was. Just a minute. He turned around and put this towel on. There. That better? Yes, yeah, she was very shy. Your mother, when we were kids going for our annual physical exam, she made our parents find a blind doctor who had no feeling in his fingertips. <laughs> all in boring. Guess what? Hmm, what can I do for you? Guess what? <laughs> you decided to go back home to Georgia? Nope, guess again. You've decided to go back to Georgia? I already said no to that one. Mm. <laughs> do you give up? I got a job. <laughs> Good. In Georgia? <laughs> oh, in Hollywood. I'm going to be in a movie, Aunt Madam. Oh. I'm going to be a big movie star. Isn't that great? <laughs> I don't know, darling. Hold it, Sarah Jo. We've got to talk about this, you know. You worry about me too much. <laughs> I always think I'm going to make a big mistake or something. Well, Sarah, I would like to know one thing. Just what is the name of this movie? It's called... Bust Out. Ah. Oh, my. How redundant. <laughs> Never mind, darling. Doesn't matter. Now, does this particular production come equipped with the luxury of a director? Oh, yes, ma'am. The director is the nice gentleman who hired me and gave me this T-shirt for free. Yeah, and I'll bet he watched you put it on, too. <laughs> what did he say his name was, dear? Uh, Blake DiCarlo. Uh, well, Blake DiCarlo... <laughs> oh! Oh! Is he one of your ex-husbands? 
Honey, he is one of the few who isn't. I'd never marry the likes of him. He makes the Marquis de Sade look like Wink Martindale. He is the absolute king of porn. Oh. Well, gee, he must be very modest. He never even mentioned royal blood. Huh? Porn, Sarah Joy. Porn. P-O-R-N. Porn. Say it. Porn. 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 Mm, yes. Respectable people don't even watch porn. I can't believe you got mixed up with Blake DiCarlo. Oh, he is the scum of the earth, rotten as dirt. He was conceived in a roach motel and born in a <laughs> spittoon. <laughs> Didn't sign anything, did you? Um, well, yes, ma'am. Where is it? Let me see it. Gosh, the paper's already dirty. <sighs> dollars motel room oh how awful for you sarah joy gee does that mean you don't think i should do it i so want you to consider what people might think of me if i let my flesh and blood appear in a movie wearing nothing but bad lighting <laughs> oh but i don't want to sway you honey make your own decision okay I'm going to do it. Now, here you are. Under no circumstances will I allow you to be in a movie that that Blake DiCarlo directs. <laughs> Sarah Joy, don't go away. Oh, my gosh, what a dither. Now, uh, Sarah Joy. But I have to do the movie, Aunt Man. <laughs> don't be silly. Nobody has to do anything except Steve Allen. You have to do everything. <laughs> Mama, are you crying, Sarah Joy? No. Why, honey, there'll be other jobs. But I need a job now. But why, for goodness sakes? Oh. What's the big rush? Oh, never mind. Oh, Sarah Joy, don't go off half-cocked. Oh, my, what to do, what to do. I'll get you for this, Blake DiCarlo. You've bruised the heart of your last Georgia peach. <laughs> As God is my witness, she won't be in your movie. She nor any of my folk. Bernadette, bring me my black book. As soon as I've finished my show, we're having a guest for supper. Pinkerton, what do you know about this lizard who is coming over? What lizard, Miss Van Gilder? That Blake DiCarlo parasite who has signed Sarah Joy for his disgusting movie. Oh, him. <laughs> I met him years ago in... Bangkok. Oh, were you wearing black socks and a garter belt at the time? <laughs> Miss Van Gilder, I have never, ever appeared in an off-color movie. I find them absolutely abhorrent. I never even went to see one when I was a stuntman. No other stuntman can say that. Well, you must be very proud. I am. Where's Madam? She's in her dressing room going over the questions for the interview with Debbie Reynolds. Oh, yes, Miss Reynolds. I forgot she's going to be on the show. Oh. Oh, it'll be good to see her again. <laughs> Have you two met before? Mm-hmm. Years ago. In Bangkok? No, in New York. And I wasn't wearing black socks and garters. What's up? Now, before my first guest comes out, I want to welcome a new sponsor to my show. And here it is, ta-da! Memory loss crunchy. The cereal you give to your children to make them forget what lousy parents you are. <laughs> now, let's say that your son's graduation party was last week. And after all the envelopes were opened, the kid wound up with 3,000 bucks. Yes, and you told him you were going to put that 3,000 in the bank for him. But did you? No, no, no. What you really did was blow it on a sucker's weekend at the craps table in Las Vegas. Put that on the cum line. <laughs> well, what to do, what to do, really, you ask yourself, really? Well, I'll tell you what to do before he has a chance to ask for some of that bread. Give him some memory lost crunches. Yummers. Oh, yummers. What the hell have they got in that horse hair? <laughs> he'll not only forget he has money coming his way, he'll forget his name, his date of birth, and his sex. <laughs> well, don't you forget these kids. Yes, memory loss crunches. Remember, the breakfast cereal sold by prescription only. Not renewable. And uh, they're available at, uh, um, 
Uh, I think they're taking a peck. Uh, oh, yes, fine stores everywhere. Yay! Oh, get these things off so we got to get this show. All right. And now, my special guest, a close, dear personal friend of mine. You know her from the movies, television, and nightclubs. She's an international star and one of the most beloved names in our business. Here she is, Miss... <laughs> Oh, yes! Miss Debbie Reynolds! Yay! Wow. Thank you, madam. Oh, watch out for your mic. Here. Oh, oh, I always watch out for the mic. Don't be touching. This one's a little too small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here, madam. I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> you look wonderful. Thank you, darling. You look younger every year. Well, How you. do you do that? Oh, madam, I have to say it's good, clean living. How do you stay looking so young? <laughs> well, it's living, but it ain't clean. <laughs> Madam, now isn't that ironic? Because I went to the trench coat theater last week. Yeah. And I went to see one of your movies, but I, I only got to see half of it. Oh, really? Why? I ran out of quarters. <laughs> oh, don't be nasty, dear. Or Madam will strike you back. Well, Madam, I had never been to a theater this old hot buttered marital age. <laughs> You're not getting away from here without doing some of your fabulous impressions. Well, madam, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, let's see. We could do, I don't know, really, what you're talking about. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh, mercy sakes, don't talk dirty on the air. <laughs> madam, I really don't know. I think we really ought to go off on the African Queen, wherever he is. <laughs> Uh, like a black Russian. There aren't any, are there? <laughs> I do love surprises. <laughs> Madam, I saved my special impression for last. Oh. Do you mind if I do it for you? I love surprises. But I, I just have to go backstage and, and make a quick change. You go right ahead, darling. All right. I've been trying to change for years, madam. <laughs> oh, never change. I'll be right back. Don't go away, madam. Okay. She'll be right back, folks. While Debbie's getting ready backstage, let me tell you that next week on our show, you'll be seeing William F. Buckley and Jojo, the boy with two laps, will come out here and sit on himself. <laughs> Wait till you see him. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, she's ready. Yes, she's ready, folks. And now with her final impression of the evening, <laughs> Miss Debbie Reynolds. And I bet you never look lovely to be in pictures. Oh, yes. Well, I just love your outfit and your jewelry is gorgeous. Thank you, darling. These are my summer diamonds. Mm hmm? Summer diamonds, summer not. <laughs> if you're like, ooh, I see you're fuzzy. <laughs> on the bottom of my dress, dear. Yes. Oh, one of those bloomers you got under there? Yes, darling. Aren't they pretty? Yes, late bloomers. Oh, I'm so thrilled to be here to see you, madam. It's and you know I'm excited because I'm dating so many young men today. Really? Where did you meet the last one? Well, I met him. It was a young man, you know. Very young. I think he was about 19. 19? Yes. Oh, gosh, that is young. Aren't you afraid that might be fatal? Fatal? Well, I say, what the hell if he dies? He dies! <laughs> well, Debbie, I cannot tell you how happy I am you could make. I am thrilled and delighted you could be here oh, tonight with me. I just loved it. I loved it. Ask me any time, dear. Thank you very much, madam. We're so alike. Uh, so alike. So alike? Oh, yes. Oh, whatever do you mean? Oh, just a little kissy bye-bye. Oh, you want a kissy bye-bye? Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, my, I've grown a beard. <laughs> That was a great show, Aunt Madam. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, you know, it won't be long now before I'm a star. Then I can be a guest on your show. <laughs> what? Wrong, honey. When that doorbell rings in a few minutes, I'm going to get you out of that contract. What do you mean, Auntie Madam? I've got to be in that movie. <laughs> My God, child, you cry more than the clientele of the Elvis Curio Shop in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> what are you blubbering about? The, the baby. My responsibility? Oh, nonsense! <laughs> my gosh, she was left on my doorstep. I know. By me. <laughs> what are you saying, Sarah Joy? What do you think I'm saying? Well, are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm saying what you think I'm saying. If what you think I'm saying is that this is 
my baby. Huh? Oh, my God. It's your kid? Yes, ma'am. Oh, violin, please. <laughs> I'm going to have to hire a soap opera organist for this place. Really, you are driving me up one wall and down the other. Oh, coming. I wish Sarah Joy would change that child. Yes, for one who won't cry. <laughs> I'll get it. You finish setting the table. Coming. Yes. I'm Blake DiCarlo. I make movies. Here are two passes to my latest flick. Herpes, the love bug. And you are? I am a Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. Here's my car. This is a moist and dab. Oh, it has my name printed on it. We hand them out at all my theaters. I'll just file these under the sink. Excuse me. Oh, he's going to meet someone that'll knock you back on his heels. A oh, goody, goody. Yeah. Oh, Blake, how good of you to come. It's been a long time, Dal. Ah, uh, hello, Blake. Ah. Uh, oh, my, my, my. How many polyesters did they have to kill to make that jacket? <laughs> Same old funny, madam. Oh. My God, it's been so long. Oh, don't brag, Blake. <laughs> if your niece is half as funny as you are, sweet cake, she could go all the way to the top. Oh. Hey, uh, where is she, by the way? Uh -oh. Excuse me, uh, but would you care for a drink, Mr. DiCarlo? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, you want to make a rat in a wheelchair? No, I don't. Well, equal parts of gin, vermouth, vodka, and a rat in a wheelchair. <laughs> he must really drink those things. Got his breath and knock a buzzard off a honey wagon. Just bring him some cheese and crackers and put the cheese in a trap. You are beautiful. What a sense of humor. Hey, what happened to that the butler guy who used to work for you? What's well, uh, uh, Good evening, uh, Mr. DiCarlo. I haven't seen you since the Sticky Theater Floor Awards in Bangkok. You know, I was just asking about you. How you doing? I'm fine, sir. Oh, I'll bet you're fine. With that little blonde number from Georgia bouncing around the house like a couple of beach balls. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DiCarlo, in your travels, have you ever taken an unguided tour through the interior of a Cuisinart? Uh, you're excused, Pinky. Uh, however, you, why don't we just coil ourselves up on the sofa and discuss this? You know, the whole situation, as in, uh, reptiles, reptiles. <laughs> Madam, what's bugging you? You've got to let my niece out of a contract. Hey, ain't we gonna eat? You said dinner. Don't change the subject to Carlo. Look, what do you want from me? The kid signed the contract. Oh, come on, DiCarlo, have a heart. You water bug, she's nothing but a poor, sweet, innocent creature. Well, don't worry, old Blakey boy. We'll take good care of her. <laughs> what you got in there, you snake? Your rattle? Here's the soundtrack from a Bust Out. Have her listen to it when she gets home. I'm a handyman. You must be... Sheila. <laughs> nah, don't go getting all uppity on me, madam. I'm gonna make a star out of Sarah Joy. I can get her right to the top. She'll be on my arm at the Bayonne Film Festival. She won't be on your arm, you weasel. She's not a tattoo. Could win a Sleezo Award as Rookie of the Year. Oh, under no circumstances will any relative of mine appear in any movie of yours. Look, sister, I mean business. Really? Not in that suit, you don't. <laughs> Looks like we have nothing further to say. Just tell the kid to be in uh, wardrobe at 5.30 a.m., makeup at 5.31, cameras roll at 5.32, and uh, don't forget, kid, she's the star of the picture. Not so fast, Blake. I have a picture of my own I want you to see. Bernadette! Show him, Bernie. I didn't think I'd have to resort to this, Blake, but snakes will be snakes. <laughs> My God, where'd you get that? <laughs> that's, that's 20 years ago. You can't prove that's me. <laughs> You're getting closer. <laughs> Where, where's that contract? Where's that damn contract? Mm. All right, here, here. Bravo! Mm, okay, okay. So your niece is off the hook, right? All right, she won't be in my movie. Mm -hmm. Satisfied? Huh? I am, but 
Pinkerton is not. What do you mean? Well, Pinky! Okay. Oh, all right now, Blake. Mama, Mama. This is the time I'm going to get even with you for that time in New Jersey when you referred to me in the local papers as uh, Madam's houseboy. Yeah. <laughs> come on, get it. Come on. Get it. Oh, here. Come on, let me see a fight. Come on, let me see a fight. Let me go. Come on, come on. Go get it, Pinky. No way. No way. Come on. Put Who are you, Reggie Butler? Oh, come on. 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 My, if they need a pastry after you, Pinky, it would be called an apple pushover. Madam, I would be happy to help with the baby if its mother would tidy up. Ooh. <laughs> Bernie's getting testy. Oh, let me take the child. No, let me handle this. Too bad I have no patience with kids, because I'm really good with them. <laughs> I bet he'd love it if you held him. Oh, do you think so? Well, give me a hand. <gasps> oh. Oh, certainly as a handsome <laughs> child. Whoop! <laughs> uh, just take the kid back, Sarah Joy, and get me one that does not leak. <laughs> now, just who is the father of your baby? Funny you should ask. I was just looking through my high school yearbook last night. I've narrowed it down to the men's glee club or the swim team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the big one. <laughs> oh.